Julia, you stood me up on Saturday. Juju, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. You look lost. What's worrying you? It's okay, my dear. It's all be well. Okay, last time you spoke, you were supposed to invite me for your family's party. Hey, yeah? Funny you should say about family. Hey, but that's your family, my dear. I told you to be open-minded about it, didn't I? Where did you come from? You were a country. You know you almost gave me an attacking heart. Hey, you should have participated in a walking races. You are moving fast, my friend. You know we are almost late for glass room and everyone is in a hurry. I may not know why everyone is in a hurry, but uh, I know why you are listening. <laughs> uh, and what is that supposed to mean? See, I just told you that we are almost late for glass. Uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, we are all moving to the same direction, so uh, we have plenty of time. What I can you, will you mind if I walk by myself? I don't mind my friend as long as uh, you sought me first. Uh, excuse you, sought you for what for? Eh, uh, to sought me for what? Of course, money. Miss again, can you, let me have to break your heart. I don't have any money. Suppose you are dreaming of a lot. <laughs> you are laughing and you just know I am broke as you are. Uh, I am not laughing because I am broke. Eh? I am laughing because you think I am very, very stupid. Fala. I know your top secret. I have plenty of secret. Which one specifically? How long has she been dropping you off? Eh? You know that today your juice has been very neat. Eh? That is how I figured it out. I don't know what you are speaking about. <laughs> ah, of course you don't. Of course you don't, my friend. So, eh, let me go tell you, uh, step daughter, that uh, your sugar mommy, who is her mother, has been dropping you off and see how she will react to that news. Hey, I, I, uh, my brother, my brother. Hey, uh, Balis, can we, can we speak about this? Ah, Yes, my brother, that is what I have been trying to do, but uh, you are being very spectacle. Uh, I, I, I didn't know what you're speaking about. Uh, there is no problem, there is no problem. So uh, let's do this. Eh? Uh, you start giving me a thousand bob every week so that I can be able to store your secret. Uh, don't shilling. Where do you expect me to get all that money from? Mr. Man, Mr. Man, you should start using your brain. Eh? How should you be dating a rich sponsor and you are not bettering your life? Bettering myself. Oh, bettering myself with Kanyanchu on my side. Ah, where, where, where? Every good deal has a price. I'm yours in this case. <laughs> Let's go to class. <laughs> I will not give you money just like that. That was I did, huh? But uh, will you mind taking some of these funds? Eh? They might fall by accident. Yes, I mind. And you'll have to pay them with your life if anything happens to my staff. But I've been holding these funds for several hours. Eh? Why do you treat me worse than a donkey? It is ironical you compare yourself with donkeys, eh? Because donkeys don't complain. But I did not say I'm a donkey. You don't have to. Hmm? You are clearly behaving like one. Angi, what do you mean by that? I, when you guys haven't been listening, I think my parents are splitting up. Why would you say that? The fights, they're becoming way, way too much and I don't think I'm going to take it anymore. As for me, I think you are lying. Because I just saw your profile status and your parents and they are holding hands and smiling. How can those two love birds be fighting? Impossible. Wait, Kamene, you mean you've been snooping around my phone? Kamene, have you? Are you now picking from Sisha? <laughs> it is in the public. Everyone can see what you have posted. Ha, Kamene, let me find you snooping again. <laughs> ah, here it is. I think she means status. Oh, ah, uh, status. Yes, yes, status. <laughs> and I know why they are fighting. You do? Do you know there's a reason why they invented privacy in our culture by the way it is a crime to walk in public holding hands? Uh, please expound. Now, when people see two people holding hands in public, they throw to them something called Jenny. <laughs> throw what? Jenny. It is a band spell and then people start fighting. Uh, are you for real right now? Yes, I am for real. Why not? You don't know. Maybe you live in another planet. For Christ's sake, when will you break free from these maids and beliefs? Maybe she never will.
Julia, you've been all quiet all this while. Hey, Sissy, what are you doing? Chop, 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 chop. Wipe it. Good boy, good boy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Remove this. And what are you doing? My staff usually stand while I'm seated. What? Cecilia, what is going on here? Hey, my sister, do you have a spare room in your house? Of course not. You know I live in a single room. Nida tuwa wapi mando ya nyumba kumboa. Hey, then you can't help me. Let this poor tangi pee. Cecilia, you keep referring to yourself as a punda milia. Hmm? I think it is high time I did your name, Cecilia. As you wish, my brother. You see, this kind of unfortunate situation is what I don't want. You have experience in such. I can't, you can't remember her treating Farah like a sack of cabbage. At least I am paying for my services. But you are not paying well enough. You should pay me in Itora. Sisi, hmm? you can leave any time. Sisi, clean that mess immediately. Clean that mess. And the letters around here. Pick those letters. Quickly. Put them there. Atito, what are you trying to prove? Prove where? I have nothing to prove to you, mushroom head. <laughs> uh, will someone fear us in? Vara Shisha, what are you doing there? Bless, why are you standing there like a statue? Maybe it is have to be a statue. Shisha, is that a complaint I hear in your voice? No, 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 no. Why should I complain? Eh? I'm the luckiest man to have this job. As long as you keep that in mind. What job? It seems now Shisha is a Tito's bonding hand. This is because of the house situation. What house situation? You mean this thing here hasn't paid rent yet? <laughs> hey, what's the hmm? Now that you've seen how lucky I am, can I come back? Ah, there is no problem, my friend. As long as uh, you pay rent, you can uh, come back. This is exactly what I'm going through. I thought you said your father is a rich man. Uh, did you say that Julia is living with a newly found father? At first, he invited me to stay with him. Though I'm starting to doubt why he received me with open arms. That is how normal people operate. <laughs> Not that you'd understand. <laughs> no, this is different. She has been sad all morning. At first, his wife would not even look at me. She was irritated with my presence in the house. At night, I would hear them argue with my dad. Even my siblings would not look at me straight. Julia, I thought you said you were happy there. <laughs> I was masking my feelings. I didn't know you were capable of that. Neither did I. I've never been so happy to belong. Needless to say, those kids, they are spoiled. Everyone in that family is. Spoiled, yeah? You can't believe the kind of schools those kids go to. Group of schools. Hey, and the compound, green and neat. What about the pavement? Neat. Ati, they cannot even speak Swahili. Hi, Naya. How is that even possible? Yeah. Sometimes I even struggle to hear what they are saying. Kwanye, what language are they speaking? Yes, they English, but they speak like Wasungus. They are saying that I have a dragging accent, but I know they're just being me. Uh -huh, you wish they were? I thought you could hear yourself speak. I think I have an accent, not me, eh? Nyani aoni kundule. Actually, yours is sharp and noisy. And if that is the case, why are you so sad? Things are changing. They are being way too nice. Even my stepmother, who called me a fat buffoon yesterday. Oh my. Why would she call you that? And have you told your dad about this? So he is always there when the whole insults at me. Uh, if it is that hard, why take insults and you have your own place? Kinyanjuli, you never know how nice it feels to have your father in your life. I will take the insults for now. But the things he has promised me are worth waiting for. Yawa Julia, you have been a strong rock all of your life. Hmm? 
I didn't realize that you need a man to achieve your giddene. Of course I don't need a man, but I need my father. So why did you stir me up for the party? Oh, that never happened. Uh, kind of happened just without me. You know, the Chuli I know doesn't love parties. You can remove Chulia out of the village, but you will never remove the village inside Chulia. <laughs> <laughs> she locked me in the toilet and took my phone so that I could not go to the party. That reminds me how you used to tarot me. Wallahi dunia mavaringo. What goes around, come backwards around. <laughs> ah, father, for once we're on the same page. I'd say you enjoy the moment while it lasts, because I might be switching schools. You lie. That's really great. Girls, why are you being so gullible? How many times have you heard this before? Not Vloma. Julia, as for me, I am happy and I hope everything goes well in the long run. For my sake, where is Mr. Tisha? Uh, you know, he sent me an urgent message to come to Galas. He did the same to me. I hope the school is not on fire. I don't know what I'll do if that happened. Maybe I will learn the way I saw Fala Alpine in the other day. Uh, Maya, <laughs> boot me out of your graziness. By the way, Fala, the woman who loved you in the other day, I have seen her in Angie's profile. Uh, what woman? Uh, you know, your problem is that you speak too much. Do you have evidence of your accusations? Yes, but of course, Angi, I'm bumbling your phone, we see in the profile status. Wait, 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 wait. Father, ha. Eh, you know this women can rat you into trouble. Very true. Let me ask you, eh? Hmm. Do you know what he's talking about? Maya, Maya, Maya. Do you even, I don't even remember the name of this woman. What is her name? What is your name? Kamene. Uh, uh, Kamene, mm. I have never been dropped by a woman. Mm. He has never been dropped by a woman. Yes. Uh, you two are just idlers. Kamene, you mean you had to drag me into your small jokes? Mm, or maybe this is just a lady's thing. Is. Yes, yes, where are you? Think before you talk, you can kill people with your tongue. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I am long. No, I am not long. I will show you in the picture. Or maybe your uncle of land is Angie's relative. Kamene! Are you kidding me? Kamene, after I confide in you about my family's struggles, you go ahead and make fun of them. But that is not what I am doing. Uh, wait, uh, what is going on back home? Is everything okay? Uh, why should you care? You moved out, so basically you are not in the inner circle. Uh, Belis, I would like to know, is that okay? You mean Hatat, eh? right? Then why are you playing it, Tom? You think you are a stupid? Wara, boot your body self out of this. You have no idea what I'm speaking about. I? You think you don't know what is happening, eh? You would be very stupid to have done what I think you are doing. Jizia, what is your problem, huh? Why are you poking your nose inside people's affair? Come to think of it, eh? I'm in my current predicament because you people poked your noses into my business, eh? But it's a poop. Can you pay for the information I have? Uh, what information can you have about my family, you rat? This rat knows that. What? What is this? Stop it! Or, uh, uh, you are afraid of being homeless again, eh? What do you want? Uh, let me think about it. Uh, I have rendered ass, I don't have food, uh, my clothes are torn, and you people have money. <laughs> How come I did not see this coming? Huh? Father, huh? let me handle this like an answer, okay? I think it's my brother. Uh, uh, this here. Uh, do you promise uh, to hide, eh? to hold, and to keep your mouth shut? Forever and ever until the death do you pass. Only if you agree, we meet halfway. Ah, good, good. Then today, come back to your house. <laughs> uh, right. Since it's been a while since we have learned, let's not waste today's opportunity. The objects of the company. Now, this defines the sphere of the company's activities the aims that its uh, formation seeks to achieve and the kind of activities or business that it proposes to conduct. A company cannot conduct uh, business foreign to that of its objective clause. Foreign Teacher, to... do you mind if I pick this call? <sighs> we are here to learn, Julia. Can't you call back after the class is over? What if it is a matter of life and death? Why do you always have to pick everything with it? Eh? What if she starts off running? Then what is she doing here? Yeah. Hey, you're being dis disruptive, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's just continue. Teacher, I'm afraid this call can't wait. Maybe they really need me. I'm very sorry. Mm -hmm. 
Hi. Me don't know how this woman manages to get lucky every time. Eh? The opposite of me. Eh? Or maybe I don't tight enough. Will you shut up? Thank you. You keep coveting other people's lifestyle. When are you going to appreciate your own? You know, my call is to aim at the sky. But lately, I hit the ground. I, I wonder who is to blame you hitting the ground. Hmm. Uh, do you people realize that I'm um, actually doing you a favor here? But Malumo, you're always doing us favors. Well, not like today, because you'll have to do without me for a little while. What do you mean, Mr. Tisha? It means that somebody else is going to have to teach you while I'm away. Malumo, you're going to be serious after all the effort that we've done to bring you backward. What effort did you put, huh? You weren't here at the first place. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Why are you always bitter with me, Waitito? Mwalimo, you are going away permanently. No, no, just um, travel the world. You know, during my vacation. <laughs> Reset my mind. You know, just basically release stress. Tija, we are very, very, very sorry. And please don't leave without sorting me out. Uh, sort you out with what? Tija, you have to give me a place to stay. Oh, that. I guess you have to do that on your own. A teacher, don't mind him. I have already gave him a job. Such a melodramatic man. Ah, there you go, Tisha. You don't need me. But uh, teacher, this job is extremely difficult. <laughs> Which one is it? Eh? Come on, Canada is waiting for me. Malimo, you mean you've been to Canada before? You know me, the fathers have traveled east from Mombasa to here. So you can take me with you so that I can also turn the wand so, with you. Like you have a passport. Or you think you can travel with your yellow fever certificate. Dita, let's continue. Uh, write this down. <clears throat> the objects clause of the memorandum gives protection to shareholders who learn from it the purposes for which their money can be applied. Uh, basically, it assures the shareholders that um, their money will not be risked in any business other than that for which they have been asked to invest. Excuse me a bit, Malimo. You said in the shareholders and do what with the money? Weren't you listening? Dummy. Are you Malimo Kwanza and do you have the answer? It's okay, I can repeat. Sandy. Just be attentive, okay? Promise I will. Fala. Oh, but then you haven't given me down payment. I say I told you I will sort you out. What is your problem? I have no problem, my brother. I just wanted you to know that now we have two contracts. The area man and this one with Jisya. I will not uh, charge you for harder income. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what a coachable boy. Why is it like you are taking advantage of me? Ah, of course I am. What? <laughs> I mean to say that uh, I didn't really care about you. It is because I care about you, my brother. Yes, <laughs> problem. I'll sort you out. Ah, okay. The objects clause of the memorandum gives protection to shareholders who learn from it the purposes for which their money can be applied. Basically, it assures the shareholders that their money will not be risked in any business other than that for which they have been asked to invest. Sat it, you two go of us. I'm trying to concentrate here. Subscribers to the memorandum must keep in mind certain points while drafting the objects clause of the memorandum. One, the objects should not include anything illegal or against the general law of the country. Malim. Farah, you can sort whatever issue you have with Kinenjui without involving me, okay? Yes, Mr. Tisha Vivir. We won't, Malimu. I want to confess something. No, don't. I don't. <laughs> What are you two up to now? Mr. Uh, Tisha, it's okay. Just proceed with the lesson. Yeah, proceed. Hey, can you let the dude speak? Oh, you want him to speak, eh? You want him to speak? He will not speak. 